Good evening, but first tonight, the wife of an Albuquerque cab driver who was murdered on the job is now suing the cab company he worked for. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen is live in the newsplex with the lawsuit. Jeannie. Jessica, the wife of Larry Mullen, says the yellow cab checker company failed to keep her husband safe. The family's lawyer says he would still be alive today if they had made more of an effort. Larry Mullen, was, uh, his throat was slit and, uh, by a passenger, and we feel that could have been avoided. Larry Mullen was a cab driver for the yellow checker cab company. Mullen was responding to a call at the Smiths on Coors and Central one night in February. He picked up Luke Waruszewski. Waruszewski is accused of ultimately killing Mullen by stabbing him in the neck. Now, Mullen's wife, Noemi, is suing the cab company. He would have had a better chance of living had uh, there been some kind of barricade between the, where the passenger sits and the taxi cab driver sits. Jim Ellis is the family's attorney. He says it's common for big cities like Chicago and New York to have barriers between the drivers and the passengers in cabs. But for a city like Albuquerque, it's unfortunately not the case. The taxi cab driver is alone. The taxi cab driver has money. Uh, they're very vulnerable. Uh, they are at higher risk of injury than police officers. The lawsuit goes on to say that Yellow Cab didn't properly provide Mullen's cab with adequate safety tools. And because of that, Mullen's death is the result of their negligence. We also uh, think, you know, even cameras have been uh, determined to be a deterrent. Ellis hopes with this lawsuit, it could be the start of major changes in the taxi business here in Albuquerque. Requiring taxi cabs to have barriers between passengers and taxi cab drivers. Now I did reach out to the Yellow Cab Company. They told me they do not have any comments at the moment. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Jeannie. Luke Borazuski is still behind bars for the murder. He's expected to go on trial sometime next year. Aztec High School students.